Hello babes and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Monica and today I am reviewing the new Huda Beauty foundations that came out last week. And this is my second time filming this video because last time my audio was not working so I filmed for nothing. But it's still good because this is like a second review. And if you think about it, that's a good thing because I will give you guys a more accurate uh, review because I already test this product twice. That's a good thing. So if you want to see me reviewing this foundation, testing it, swatch it, do a wear test and give you guys my honest opinion on it, make sure you keep on watching. So this is the package that Huda Beauty sent me. These were sent in PR and I'm gonna include some clips of when I first filmed this video and opened everything, like first impressions. I will put everything in here but yeah i already opened this up so it comes with a little paper thing showing everything about the foundation and let me just like unpack this they sent me three different shades i got the custard 220n macaroon 230n and toasted coconut 240n and this is the full filter skin finish buildable coverage foundation stick i love the packaging i feel like it looks super like bougie super expensive and it's not glass it's plastic so it's good for traveling this is how much foundation you get uh, per foundation. It doesn't look like a lot. Let me see what they say here. This is uh, 0.44 ounces. This foundation stick retails for 38 95 uh, euros. I think that's about $40. I'm not sure, but I will leave the prices in dollars on screen so you guys can see. But again, this is like a foundation stick. So usually it lasts longer than a liquid foundation. They say here that this foundation has a buildable coverage, has a natural finish. It's fragrance free now that's new for huda because she usually has a lot of fragrance in her products and i don't mind it but i know a lot of people do so it's really good that um she came out with something that is fragrance free it also says that this is a waterproof foundation and pool party proof meaning that you can literally go to a pool party and swim and the foundation will stay on place for six hours ten hours normally but six hours if you like swim or are underwater whatever and it says also that it's sweat resistant and humidity resistant so that's like a lot of claims uh for a foundation like this but if they work this is like a holy grail it's a creamy new formula that melts into the skin you can build it up to blur imperfections or you can buff and blend to achieve a more sheer illuminating skin tint it's available in 39 shades and of those 39 shades nine are new shades and the other ones are the shades that she had on her previous foundation first thing i'm gonna do is swatch them so i can see which foundation i'm gonna use before applying primer i'm gonna start with the shade custard in 2020 neutral which is the shade that i usually wear with her other uh, foundation so next we have macaroon 230n and then we have toasted coconut i don't know it's kind of difficult to choose because i think that like all of them would like work for me i think i'm gonna go with this one it's more neutral even though all of them are neutrals uh, this one is a little bit more warm this one is a little bit more yellow and then this is more olive so i think i'm gonna go with this one before we move into foundation let's talk about the new uh water jelly hydrating primer that she came out with which is like pretty much the same packaging as her previous foundation so this primer retails for 32.95 say that this is like a tall drink of water for your face creating the perfect base for your foundation and giving you a beautiful skin do we finish so yeah we are going to apply a pump Okay, maybe two. This to my skin. It feels super moisturizing. I feel like my skin is super, super smooth and I already feel like it's sticky, which I love. I love a primer that is sticky because the foundation will really stick to your face. They also came out with a foundation brush and if you like, if I put it like next to my face, this is so big so big so this retails for 32.95 euros which is a bit of like a bougie kind of brush i mean huda beauty is a pretty like high-end brand uh but this is a little bit like 
much for a foundation brush. I will kind of see the foundation brushes from other brands and see if it's like way over the prices and I will like just let it here. So on this part of my face, I will apply the foundation directly from the um, stick. But on this side of my face, I will like use the Huda Beauty method and go in with a brush and then apply it with a brush and see if there's any difference. I have no idea how much I need. I think this should be like about enough. Okay, that's a pretty finish. Let's go with a little bit more. And I feel like this shade match is kind of good. See if you can build it up. I mean, look at this side. Like how it's so uneven with a lot of like spots and a lot of redness. But then when I turn, it's perfectly corrected. And the finish of this foundation, I already know this because this is my second time trying it. Uh, but let me see this again. It's flawless. I cannot even like begin to tell you how much like this looks like a filter. This really looks like a second skin, but better. I cannot even explain to you guys. Let me like move it like a little bit up close so you guys can see the finish. Now let's apply on the other side with the brush like this. Let's see these imperfections, how this will cover those. I mean, do you see that? It really covers those imperfections really well without looking cakey. Now, if you compare the side with the brush and the side without the brush, it looks pretty much the same to me. Okay, so the foundation is on and I'm not mad at the shade match because I'm a little bit tan, but if I wasn't, this will be like the perfect match for me. Um, I love the finish of this foundation and I can tell you this like from trying this foundation twice. Uh, this is like probably the most beautiful foundation finish I've ever, ever seen. And I'm not like, I'm not trying to kiss ass. I'm not like, I'm being 100% honest with you guys. If I didn't like it or if it was like good or okay, I would say that I, it's kind of good, but I'm telling you, this is the most beautiful foundation finish ever for me. I just like, I don't know if you guys can see like on camera, but like in real life, this looks so, 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 so pretty. It looks like a second skin. I'm gonna try to do a video on my phone um, so you guys can see. I'm pretty obsessed with the finish of this foundation, but the finish is not everything. We need to see how this works with other products and we need to see how this uh, works throughout the day. For concealer, I'm going to be using this Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer in the shade Light Beige. I'm going to use like my favorite go-to products because I don't want to use something new and then be unsure if the makeup is not looking good because of the products that I tried that I am not used to. So I wanted to use everything that I'm super used to using and be sure that the foundation works or not. I'm gonna blend with the other side of the sponge. So concealer is on and it blended so well with the foundation. No complaints. So let's move into contour and I'm going to be using the uh, Huda Beauty Tantor in the shade Light. Now I'm gonna go with cream blush. I'm gonna go with Cheeks Out Crush and Cupid. And I'm gonna put it right on top of that contour to kind of like lift my face, not like here, but like here, like so. Now to set my under eyes and the rest of my face, I'm going in with Pound Cake from Huda Beauty. These like they are loose powders and I'm gonna dust it off that right away. I'm just gonna like lightly set everything else. For bronzer, I'm going in with the Shady Bees from Fenty Beauty. 
And since we have a lot of powders on my face, I want to bring back that skin look uh, again. So I'm going to use the Glow Coco from Huda Beauty. Just shake that well and apply it. The base is done you guys and I'm pretty happy with how this is looking, it looks flawless, it's not every day that I do like flawless coverage like this, so I'm pretty pretty happy, everything blended it worked well together with the foundation so I'm pretty happy, uh, but I will go off camera and finish the look and come back to show how is everything looking because it will take me maybe one hour to finish everything else because I'm filming a, another review like for an eyeshadow palette and it will take me about one hour, an hour and a half to film so we will see how the foundation will look. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back from doing my brows, eyes, lips and even though it's just those Three things it took me over an hour and a half to film because I was doing a review of the new Morphe uh, 35XO palette their like holiday collection I was reviewing so let me give you guys uh, up close on how the foundation is looking it's still looking flawless you can see it's just a little bit oily around my nose and a little bit on my forehead but just like a tiny amount I haven't retouched it so it's completely normal I'm not mad about it it looks really great to me I have a new video to film I have to start to edit this video, I have to eat and I have to do some stuff, so I will come back um, after a while, maybe on my phone camera and show you guys how everything is looking and then again, later at night, uh, I will come back again and give you guys my final thoughts. Oh, and let me see what time it is now. Uh, let me see, it's 12.32, uh, Tuesday, yeah. My phone is so cracked, but it is like uh, 12 p.m. and I will be back on a few hours from now to see how this is looking. So guys, it's 7 p.m. Um, my lipstick wore off. I've been eating. I've been editing all day. I wanted to show you guys how everything is looking. It's so dark. If I turn myself, yeah, like this, you can see me uh, much better. But yeah, let's see how this is looking. So it's looking oily on the T-zone. It's not like maybe start to fade out here around my mouth, but I haven't retouched it and I've eaten. Uh, but other than that, it's looking really great. It's looking flawless, guys. I think I never used a foundation that stays like this flawless for such a long time. You can still see like my pimple and stuff. It's not like a full, 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 full coverage from the general way I'm looking at myself and not at the camera. But it's not like a full, full, full coverage foundation, but it covers a lot. Like it covers just enough to give you that perfect like skin look that you like. But yeah, I don't matter how it's looking. But I will finish editing the video and uh, I will go down later to show you guys how everything is looking and to give you guys my final thoughts. So guys, I'm back and I'm dying to take this makeup off. I've had this makeup for, let me see, it's 9.16 now. Uh, I've had this makeup for how many hours? 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 hours. Oh my god that's a long time so I've had this like makeup for nine hours and uh, my brows are starting to look a little bit weird uh, the foundation starts to wear off around my mouth if you can uh, see that around here not that much in my nose here and it's oily on the t-zone I haven't touched it retouched it let me show you guys really up close you can see it's like uh, a lot of oils here on my t-zone but especially on like this area around my nose nine hours after and it's looking like this this is amazing i love it says that it's a 10 hour foundation wear i think i think that after using this foundation two times and doing a wear test of like 10 hours almost it's safe to say that this might be like my favorite foundation ever it's just i just love how it looks on me maybe it doesn't work for everybody but on my skin it just looks so smooth it looks like i have perfect skin even though i don't it looks really really great it's like a filter i think huda beauty nailed it with the foundation this time i really like the other one the uh fall filter one but it was too heavy if you know what i mean i am honestly so impressed with this foundation but what it does i would buy it i will 100 percent buy it and i will buy it when i'm running out of those uh, so i will like if you can buy this foundation if you have the money to buy this foundation i will totally recommend it of course you can find other affordable foundations out there drugstore that are really really good but even though drugstore is really the game is on here like i feel like this foundation i i just haven't 
tried anything drugstore that it works like this. The primer, I really liked it. I've used it two times now and I really like how it really crept the foundation and made it stay in place. So I think the primer is really good as well. The brush is not my favorite. I wouldn't buy it. Uh, it's not bad. It's just like I love using a beauty blender or some other type of brushes. So it's not my favorite thing from uh, this new launch. But the foundation and the primer is like absolute faves but it's safe to say that that's it for this video i'm so tired thank you so much for watching and i will really appreciate if you could go and give this video a thumbs up leave a comment share hit the notification bell you know all the drill i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you are still here thank you so so much for watching uh, i love you guys and i hope to see you on my next one bye bye